and welcome to this week's episode of Phoenix TV. We have all the usual match highlights, player interviews, pre and post game. I'm here with Anna Corrigan for the pre game. Uh, we've already spoken at length on last week's episode uh, about the performances in Solway uh, and at home to the Tigers. We, we host the Phantoms here tonight, also made an electric start. Uh, by no means an easy game, this. No, definitely not. Um, you know, they're, they're battling for their first place position with Telford. Um, you know, last year they finished sort of bottom end of the table. So, um, you know, it shows how much they've changed as a team this season. They have in the past been our sticking team, a little bit like Swindon. They're the ones that you never kind of know which team's going to turn up. And always, we always play them around this time of year as well. And they normally always catch us out. So, um, fingers crossed tonight, we'll just get the edge. We'll see. Uh, you, you're right. It is always around this time of year. We always get them and they always seem to pip us. But they've made an electric start. Um, you know there are no there are no easy games in the league anymore. Um, that's no disrespect to the league. Last year it was always tough, but this season everybody comes out expecting to win the game. Uh, you know we've been on the wrong end of that uh, a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. Hopefully the guys dig deep as they did on Sunday at Telford, uh, and we grind out a win tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's a shame to see, um, you know, we're so used to success in Manchester. I think we have been a little bit spoiled in the past. You know, we've been league champions twice. We've been playoff champions. We've always finished in the top three with a cup. I think we've been spoiled this year. Everybody's changed their dynamics and, and the standard has increased massively um, in across the board. There's no team that's really storming ahead. All teams have really raised the game. You know, everybody's credible um, and... It's going to be interesting. I can't. I can't call any game. I can't comfortably come no. into this ring week in, week out, and say, "Yep, yeah, we're going to win Absolute, this." And, and it's absolutely. it's a strange feeling. Um, I, I agree. Uh, better for entertainment value. Um, as much as we enjoyed uh, our our lightning start last year, blitzing teams, yeah. we've got a real task on our hands this season. But um, I've got every faith that the guys that the guys will dig deep, and we, we you know we'll be all right this season. Yeah, we will. It, it'll click eventually. You know, it has been a slow start, but other teams have had that slow start and still finish well. You know, we're doing really well in the cup in the minute. So you know what? If we take home the cup as our silverware this season, I'll be happy with that. Um, yeah, and, and we'll just see how we go. I'm going to remain uh, optimistic after our performance uh, on Sunday against Telford. Yeah. I'm going to go for a Phoenix win by two goals tonight, but I'm not going to give you a score. <laughs> if it's the same team that comes out, I'm hoping that we can storm them. Um, if it's not and we kind of slip back to our usual ways, um, which is no disrespect, I don't mean that negatively, um, but we definitely you know, turned up the pace on Sunday against the Tigers. Um, I, I, I think we'll have it, but I reckon it'll be close. I'm going to call it with a goal. One goal. One goal. I say two. There's only one way to find out. Let's go watch some hockey. Kept in at the line by Febris. Throws it towards the net. Boat blocking to the right. James Farrer into Febris, who gets it through Stephen Phone and into the back of the net. Nice pass out of the corner, James Ferrara and Febris with the first time shot that gets through Steve Phone in the Phoenix goal. It's a power play strike for the Phantoms, and it's Manchester nil, Peterborough one. Down into the Peterborough zone, they're chasing in. As Hutchinson overskates the puck, certainly playing in front from top of skate, he comes back to Berlin, at the line, shoots it just wide, puck bouncing down, it's in the skates of Handu, will backhand it around the boards, it's Kulikov who intercepts, fires it up onto the wing to Bebris, who looks to get goal side on Berlin, trying to drab it in and he scores. Bebris just too strong for Johan Berlin and with one hand on his stick he gets it through the pads of Stephen Phone again. It's a second goal for the Peterborough Phantoms and it's Manchester nil, Peterborough two. Pass up the boards, hand going cross ice, it's a good one, Cerny into the zone, two on one for the Phoenix, big shot from Michael Cerny, save, goes back out to hand, goes back door, that's a great stop. Yanis Orzin's got the stick down on Adam Walker, floated back towards Graham. For a pass, it's back to Boothroyd. Comes off a skate in the centre circle. Luke Ferrara will curl his way into the zone. Takes the shot and scores. And Phoenix giving Luke Ferrara far too much room and he picks out the top corner glove side on Stephen Phone. The first period is going from bad to worse for the Manchester Phoenix. It's Manchester nil, Peterborough three. Ahead, looking for Michael Cerny who will drive his way into the zone. Ham towards the net, tip and they score! Adam Walker it is! Ham got his head up, threw it towards the net and Walker directs it past Yanis Orzins. Maybe the start of a comeback with 11 seconds left in the first period. It's Manchester 1, Peterborough 3.
Okay, so you have a great company, you provide a great service, you have a great team. What you really need is more customers. How do you get the message out there? How do you let people know just how great you are? How do you decide how you get noticed? How do you decide which platform? The Phoenix Premier Business Club offers you the complete package, helping you connect to the right people, providing you with the right audience over all the marketing platforms. As a member of the Phoenix Premier Business Club, you'll be able to effectively network, bringing together fellow businesses through trust and relationship building, helping companies become walking, talking advertisements for one another. Video as a platform encompasses a greater persuasive effectiveness than many other communication tools. It sells a product or service using sight, sound and more importantly, emotion. The Phoenix Premier Business Club will capture, produce and edit video marketing modules for you. Focus your online message and presence. The Phoenix Premier Business Club provides your company with a central communication and promotional hub. Engage your customers, stand out from your competitors. Offering genuine incentives, the Phoenix Premier Business Club will offer you two exciting purchasing incentives, whether it's B2Cs or B2Bs. Your customers' recommendations are still the number one way to gain more business. The Phoenix Premier Business Club will assist you in building a recommendation hub, providing potential customers confidence in you and your service or products. Get your happy customers to sell for you. Be a part of this great business opportunity. Be a part of the Phoenix Premier Business Club. Ryan will head to the bench as Kobar back on through to back lip. He's got Gray on top of the circle, thrown towards the net, off the pad of Orsins. Ham trying to shoot back and trying to sweep it in, the puck still loose. Backhand's there for Kobar, he had his stick lifted as he tried to get the shot away. And then gaining the line, trying to backhand it through. It'll break down into the corner, Norton trying to knock it away from Walker, as he kicks it loose. Cerny gets it to Backlick on the point, who walks in, save made Orsins, rebound was there, it's cleared away from Tony Ham. Backlick who gives to Kobar down in the corner. Walking in, sharp angle effort has gone through the crease, I think. It's Hand who's got it behind the net. Gives it to Michael Cerny. Hand. Back door! Kovar went for the one time and didn't get a good connection on it. Just a smart thing, gets the puck away. Kovar finds Backlick. The Phoenix will gain the zone. Backlick walking in, goes cross ice. It's Kovar. Big shot, save made Yanis Orzins. Well out of the crease, Kovar had the puck to, to Michael Cerny. Backhands it to Luke Boothroy. Boothroy just to Walker on the wing. Hand will go towards the net. Tip comes in from Walker again. In fact, it was Boothroy this time who tipped it. Towards Kovar, gloves it down. Dance his way towards the front backhand. He's saved by Orsons. Luke's puck was there. It wouldn't quite sit down for Frankie Bakalik. Played up ahead past Berlin. Into the zone comes Luke Ferrara. He loses his edge. Backhands towards the front. Comes off a skate. Bakalik will get onto it. Wow. Gives it offers no movement. Put breaking loose, Backlick has his stick tied up, that's going to be called as a penalty. Unimpressed is uh, Mark Levers as his stick got tangled up with Frankie Bakalik's, but Bakalik was impeded and the Phoenix will go on the power play. Towards Hammond Walker will try and dig it loose, it comes back to the point, to in through traffic and Adam Walker has taken a stick in the face from Yanis Orzins. To Cerny, the battle's back and forth straight. Backlick one time and goes wide. Hand will knock the puck down. Sweeping it in front towards Cerny. The Phantoms now have a high man. It's come off. Frankie Backlick skating into the zone. Is Kulikov stood up. Sean Thompson. Just Kulikov tried to cut inside him. CNI Solutions. Keeping your computer network infrastructure beating. Because if it stops... So does your business. We provide many unique ways of keeping your network running at its full potential. Ensuring your company never misses a beat. CNI Solutions. Keeping your computer network infrastructure beating. Your old car, seen better days, given up the ghost. 
You need the friendly guys at Davidson's. One phone call is all you need. They'll collect your car for free, sort out that nasty paperwork, and transform your old banger into lots of lovely cash. Because Davidson's are extremely reputable and recommended by the DVLA. So for the best prices, cash on the spot, and to scrap your car with confidence, call us on 0161 928 9981. Davidson's, we're talking scrap. Here at CW Motors, we provide a large range of high quality services. Your vehicle will be looked after by our highly qualified and dedicated team using both state-of-the-art technology and good old-fashioned elbow grease. We specialise in accident crash repair, mechanical and bodywork and MOT preparation. We also have oven and jig facilities and can provide insurance estimates. So, for a friendly and professional service, come and see us at Victoria Mill, Thrillston. Or you can call us on 0161 371 9983. Out the other side it will come. Kovar spying the puck and away he comes. He dances his way past Baranek, threads it through. Thompson delays, shoots, save is made. Kovar puts it in. The big rebound off Yanis Orzins. Robin Kovar parked on the edge of the crease, could not miss. And with 16 and a half minutes to go, the champions make it a one goal game. It's Manchester 2, Peterborough 3. Dispossessed by Pliskowska, scraps away to win it back, keep it in the zone. Thompson bumped into the boards, Bakalik taking down Luke Ferrara, no penalty called as Kovar gets it back to the line, shot is saved by Olsen, the rebound was there, Thompson was tied up and he couldn't get a shot away, his backhand up, up over the crossbar, Boothroyd, backhand it, Coulson Heron lets it run, hand behind the goal, playing it out from Coulson Heron trying to sweep it in, Olsen makes the save. There was daylight for a moment for Corson Heron, but Orson's got the pads together and now Weldon and Walker have words down in the corner. Under pressure again from Luke Ferrara. He tries to sweep the puck out front. It comes to Lever's shot is well blocked by Boothroyd. Bounces down in the slot, trying to kick it clear. It was Thompson and they score. Luke Ferrara it is again as the Phoenix just could not clear the front of the net. And he snaps a shot past Declan Ryan to restore the two-goal lead for Peterborough with 8.45 to go. It's Phoenix 2, Phantoms 4, but it breaks loose. Viskowskis trying to go near side, it comes off the post. Declan Ryan gave him the top corner to shoot at, and Viskowskis hits the pipe. Again, gets the puck behind the goal, gives to Kulikov, who's had it intercepted. The Phoenix will break down the ice short and it's Tony Han into the zone. He takes the shot, he scores! Yanis Orsin's way out of the goal to narrow down the angle, but Tony Han fires it in past the feet of Renette Minder. It's a short-handed goal for the Manchester Phoenix, and maybe, just maybe, they're not done yet. It's Phoenix 3, Phantoms 4. Plays it around the boards, Graham stepping in off the line. Nice turn, back click, one time a save made. Yanis Orsin's down into the corner. Tries to stick on his way through, it's hit the skate of Boothroyd. The Phantoms played in behind, it's a two on one. Piskowskis walking in, deking, good save, Declan Ryan. Not sure Piskowskis got a clean shot away. Weldon will hold on to the puck for as long as he can. And in truth, it's the right result. As the horn goes, the Manchester Phoenix get yeah, unfortunately what they've deserved tonight which is no points it's been a very solid performance from the Peterborough Phantoms who took the lead early and have kept the lead with a timely fourth goal from Luke Ferrara it is no points on home ice for the Manchester Phoenix final score at the ice dome is Manchester Phoenix 3 Peterborough Phantoms 4 Right, final score, Manchester Phoenix 3, Peterborough Phantoms 4. I'm here with uh, two goal Luke Ferrara. Luke, your team worked very, very hard tonight and uh, no complaints? Yeah, not from us. I mean, we came here with a game plan. We're not here to entertain anybody. We're just here for the two points and we got them. It was job done. Yeah, and of course you're short on D tonight. I think you were missing a couple there, but the guys that filled in did the job, closed it down, closed the shooting lanes down. I mean, we had a lot of possession there. I would think we're probably about 60% 60 possession, but the quality chances weren't there because you were closing it down. Yeah, we, uh, like you said, we're missing 2D, and 
we've had to put uh, James back in D and he, he had a great game and all, all the defensemen stepped up. So, like you said, we, we, sh we shut the angles down. We, they had shots, but from wide, so, and we got a good goalie, so that's what we were allowed to do. Of course, you're sitting third, maybe even second in the league. You're having a good season. Yeah, we're enjoying it so far, you know. We're not, obviously, last year wasn't ideal for us, but we're loving it. Well, I don't think you're going to be scrabbling for that eighth place this season. Hopefully not. Hopefully. <laughs> if, we're, if we do, then something's gone horribly wrong. Look, safe journey back. Just a one quick word about your uh, little trip trips up to Sheffield. Getting a bit of ice time, doing all right up there, enjoying it? Yeah, I, I really am. You know, I'm there training there two or three days a week and then playing when, when I can. So I'm, it's a lot of fun and I'm learning a lot and my fitness is high because of it. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Well, you've always, you've always been one to look out for, mate. Best of luck, safe journey back, and we'll see you in a few weeks. Okay. Thanks, guys. See ya. Right, Phoenix TV here. Uh, here I am with uh, our man of the match, defender James Neal. James, man of the match means nothing if we don't get the points, does it? Oh, no. No, all I'd rather win every game than get man of the match every game, do you know what I mean? So I feel, even though I got man of the match, I feel disappointed and uh, it's, it's not acceptable. Especially to go 3 0 down after 10 minutes and after the game we played on Sunday. Who cares? Who, ca who cares who you're playing? You could be playing Telford every week, you could be playing these every week. You've got to show up. Yeah, that, that was the one thing we were talking about around, around the stands, really. That I mean, it was an awesome performance on Sunday and we just didn't seem to come out of the dressing room quick enough to, tonight. Oh, again, on Sunday it was an awesome performance, but we didn't get the two points. So. Who cares if you have a rubbish game but you get the two points or if you have an amazing game and get the two points. E either way, it doesn't matter how you play really, as long as you get those points on the board. It's really what we've got to do is get back on the bus, get back together at Blackburn and then we've got Bracknell and Basingstoke the following week in the league. I mean, just, just got to play out of it really. It's, 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 it's going to be tough, no question about it, but we can only do it ourselves and uh, we're a team, we win as a team, we lose as a team and... It's, it's, it's how we react from this and hopefully we have a, I know, a solid performance against Blackburn on Sunday but next weekend's massive for us. And yes, it certainly is, but uh, we know we've got the ability. We know the guys can do it. The locker room will pick themselves up as well because that's what you guys do and, uh, and move on. Well, we know we can do it because on Sunday we were, we were outstanding and we'll beat any team in the league playing like that. So it's, it's, like you said, it's, it's down to us and... Uh, we've just got to keep working hard and stick together. OK, James, thanks for coming out, mate. It's always a tough one to do when we lose. It's but uh, me as well, it seems to do it. So well, hopefully uh, we'll win next time. I'll try and get you one when we win a game. James, thanks very much. Cheers, Sambo. OK, folks, we're here for the post-game review. Unfortunately, we've gone down 4-3 uh, at home to the Peterborough Phantoms. I've got Adam Walker and Anna Corrigan here with us. Ad, just how hard is it for the guys? In a midweek game like that, you know, the, the guys have got work. Uh, some of the guys are at university studying. How hard is it on a Thursday to come in and, uh, you know, play to your best? Um, well, to be honest, it shouldn't be hard at all. We should, we should come ready to play. I mean, we're... A if you don't come ready to play, then you should just stay at home. So if, if we're not ready to play, then uh, that's that. We have to get up for this. It's not like we're uh, cruising at the top of the league. So, you know, if you got to come to play. And if you don't, then, you know, we're not going to win. A good point. Well made. Uh, yeah, we're, we are struggling out there on the ice. Uh, a couple of games now on the bounce where, it, you know, it's just not going our way. Is there anything we can do out there to change it? No, there's lots of things. There's lots of things. Uh, I just don't think we're playing well as a team at the moment. It's... Uh, you know, we've got nobody to blame but ourselves and, you know, we're in a bit of a hole and we need to, we need to kind of get ourselves out of it. And you've, you've played for the Phoenix before. What, what dynamics are different this time from last time? Oh, there's no dynamics that are different. We, we play the same way as we did the last time I was here and it's, it, it worked for us and before. It worked for Manchester last year. They won the league playing exactly the same way. So, I, I mean, to, to me, it's, it's fundamentals. We're not doing fundamentals right. And it goes from from everybody in the team, from the goalie to the defence to the forwards, and that's it's it's just not it's it doesn't seem like it we're ourselves at the moment, and it's, so some things have to change. Like we need to change some things in practice, or um, maybe just take a look at ourselves in the mirror, myself included, and and find out a way that we can be better. And it's so strange because we're not going down by massive goal differences here. We're talking one, two goals a time, and and obviously for fans and players alike, that's just frustrating, isn't it? Like. Yeah, it is frustrating, but at the same time, I mean, it doesn't matter if you lose by one or if you lose by ten, Anna. It's you're, you're losing at the same time. So, um, it's 
it's particularly frustrating because we, the way we played on Sunday was good and we were unlucky to lose that game. Whereas tonight, you know, we kind of huffed and puffed a little bit, but at the at the end of the day, we were, we went down three nothing after 50 minutes, and that's if we keep doing that week in week out, then the same results are going to happen. Yeah, it was definitely a different game tonight than the one that we saw oh, on Sunday. Yeah, completely different. Um, you know, like you say, we've we've nobody to, to, to blame but ourselves. But uh, we're in that hole that you mentioned. But um, you know, we we fully believe that you guys will keep working hard in training. You'll keep working hard at the weekends, and we'll, we'll dig ourselves out of it. Yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing we we can uh, there's nothing nothing more we can do than to, to come to practice and work hard and and uh, gradually dig ourselves out of this hole. You know, it's nothing to do with the referees. It's nothing to do with the teams we're playing against. It's nothing to do with the lucky bounces. We're just not coming together collectively for 60 minutes and you know that's costing us so yeah there's that's all we can do is we can come back to practice and we can work hard and we can and figure out a way to to put some wins under our belt and to be fair Peterborough have, have turned out to be a really good side this year you know they finished kind of bottom end of the table last year but I mean two weeks ago Peterborough Telford were playing for the top of the league game now if someone had told me this time last year that that was going to happen I would have told them to leave because they were drunk and, and, and here we are. So that just shows how much the league has changed. And I guess we just need to step yeah, up to that. Of course it does. I mean, and, and all the teams are good in the league this year. There's no bad teams. I mean, last year, you know, the Slough kind of struggled a little bit and Peterborough struggled a little bit. Um, but there's no bad teams in the league this year. And that's something that maybe we have to look at and, and realise that, you know, if we don't come to play and give 100% on, on the night, we're not going to win. Yeah. No, well, we have faith in you all. I'm sure we'll pull it back. And uh, we'll see what Sunday holds in Blackburn. So that's it for Phoenix TV this week, folks. A disappointing end. Uh, Phantoms 4, Phoenix 3. Um, you can follow us on all the usual channels, Facebook, Twitter, um, in the newspapers. Our next home game is going to be Sunday the 9th of November. Usual face-off of 5.30 against the Basingstoke Bison. We'll see you then. <laughs>